We have got a awning light on a Swift, and this is quite a common one on the Swift, when it's full of water and it's not working properly. So we're going to swap it. So I'm going to show you how to actually swap this today. Now these lights are literally just stuck on. And when you buy a new one, it's going to come through and it's going to look like this. And basically we've got our wire that comes through the back and you've got a sticky double-sided attachment that sort of sticks the light on. So that is pretty much all that is holding that light on. Cable comes through and that comes right through into the middle of the light. And in this particular one, it's coming right behind of our Swift command control unit. So that's going to have to come out to reveal the wires so we can disconnect that and then we can remove the light on the outside the black surround on this particular one just clips off um, so there's two tabs at the top and two tabs at the bottom so if you just get your fingernail sort of in there and lift that up it'll take the top one off and then you can just pull that you can just pull it then downwards and that will come straight off and we've got four screws so we'll undo these four screws we're going to make sure that our power is isolated so our main system shutdown button is in the off position and it might even be worth actually just disconnecting the battery but in theory once this is disconnected that should take the power off to our control panel Once our panel is removed, it's going to reveal our wire going through to the outside and our connection. So we can actually then just double check the connection on our new awning light and just make sure it's all the same, it's all going to fit on and on this one we are good. Again, you can sometimes just plug this in there put the power back on and just double check that the new light is working. Get the white wire onto our panel because I've got it just hanging in the cupboard at the minute just to keep it out of the way and uh, make sure it's okay. Double check the new awning light and that's all working fine. So unplugged the old light and then we're going to pop outside and then start to remove that and that hopefully then will allow these wires just to pull straight out, put the new one in and uh, fit the new one into place. Now a great way to remove the old light is with a little bit of fishing line. Pop that around and with two hands um, sort of just work the fishing line down it and that should then pop the seal. If you haven't got any fishing line, the other alternative is, and you've got to be very, very careful, is then with a flat-headed screwdriver and just starting to work down very, very gently. I'm trying to do this one-handed so it's not ideal. Um, and literally just working the seal and just breaking that seal down. Uh, there's not a huge amount of sealant and what you've got to be careful on is that you're not going to scratch the paint or damage the paintwork so we're trying to hit more of the light than the seal um, and then again we can just start as we break that down then you'll see that we can work that down and it'll start coming off uh, the fishing line because it will sort of cut through and the other way that you can do it is with a stanley blade is just cut down here um, so just a few different ways and you'll figure out what is easiest for you the problem if you're going to use a screwdriver like this you've got to be very 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 careful because you can damage the aluminium skin very easily um, so it's not really advised to to do it like this but if that's your only option it's just going very very slowly and you can do it but it's just not ideal you just give it a good pull and um, the other thing is just give it a bit of a twist 
pull it down either side and then that should just come off and then all it will do is go through clean all this sealant back off again so again being very very careful not to hit the the paintwork put any scratches into the paintwork I can remove all of the sealant then this should then be able to come out and again it'll sort of come out with a bit of a, a big glove we'll tidy this out because we're going to want to put all new sealant in uh, and again we're going to use the uh, sicker flex to put it back in and again we'll put a little bit of sicker flex just in the bottom here um, just so that we know that that hole then is all sealed up nicely. We're all cleaned up and ready for the new light and you'll see I've left just a very very tiny edge of sealant just along the top and the reason that I've left that on is so that when I put the new light on uh, it's always difficult actually trying to line it up and sort of trying to get it absolutely dead straight so that little tiny tiny edge and the sealant or the um, the double sided tape that's on the awning light actually sits just below that and that will be the sort of edge that I'll reseal over the top of afterwards but that then just lets me line up the light exactly where the original light went on so if it's cockeyed after it's fitted it's the original fitting person's fault and not mine so um, just you can just leave a couple of little bits on there so that you've just got a, a bit of a line just to follow when you put the new one in it just make it easy so you're trying to put it on look back at it get up down up and down it's just a pain so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fit the new light in put the cable through and then we're going to seal that in and then just push it the final last little bit in and that's this hole here is where we're trying to get sealed up the most but if we get the cable through first where it's 90% through and then we can actually seal that into place fit it on and then just a trim over the top with some sealant connect it back up on the inside and we're done we can just test it again then that's then how the new one's going to look and you can see we can sort of just line it up nicely against that edge of the sealant and that tells us then it's nice and straight. Um, pull it back to about there and then we'll fill that hole up with sealant and then literally just stick it back on. Use our top marks then just to sort of line up. You see I've got the slight edge of the sealant there and then just the very slight edge of the sealant there. So, yep. 